Hey there YouTube, this is Josh 19 and welcome back to my channel. Now, I just want to apologize, I was actually supposed to post this video last night. Um, but when I got home from the gym, I had a bad headache. I actually, well, I actually went to bed at 9.30 instead of, you know, my usual time of 12. So, um, but in this video, I'm going to be taking this, um, LG Retro Custom, which I you might have recognized it from my a video I made a couple years ago where I made Paul Walker's, aka Brian O'Connor's, Nissan Skyline from the Fast and Fur from Fast and Furious 4. That's the one that he races against Dom with to try and get, and when he's like an undercover FBI agent, try and get into a drug ring. And, and but in this video we are going to be taking this Nissan jet, this Nissan and we are going to be making the Nissan GTR R33 called Nightbird from Transformers Rise of Rise of the Beasts. Now I've always loved the the Nissan GTR, especially this body style, because I mean who wouldn't? But sadly. We need to upgrade it. So you note that I'm also not in Los Angeles Customs. I'm currently in my body shop. If you can see in there, you can see all my other some of my other cars from my videos. Um, horse, the hate bug, Hervey, the love bug, the Evos from Tokyo Drift, and the Fast and Too Fast Too Furious, the Skyline from Too Fast Too Furious. Um, Leon Skyland from the Fast and the Furious. Bumblebee's Beetle form. I forget what car those two are from, but they're from a movie. Anyway. So, for th for this build. <coughs> so that. We're actually going to start with the wheels. Because normally, I do the paint job, but the wheels seem to be the easier one. So the wheels we're going to be using are can be found under Sport, and we're going to be going with uh, let's see. We're going to be going with these wheels here, the Endo V twos. I could have sworn I had wheels in this game that looked exactly like the wheels from the film. Oh, it's down the street. Here they are, the Endo V3 Custom. These are the wheels I was thinking of. They cost $26,900. And when you get them, I didn't know I had all these colors. Cool. Let's see, now we're going to need to paint them like a purplish color. So let's see if we can't find one that matches. But I think the only one that matches is the Agon, the um, Burgundy Pearl. This is pretty much the only one that actually looks very similar to the wheels from the film. So we're going to go with these ones. Um, make sure we have the turbo in stock, which for some reason this one's not turbo, so I'm going to turbo it. We're going to upgrade the transmission. I'm gonna lower it. For the spoiler, we're actually gonna go with. Wow. I mean. But normally, we'd be putting the spoiler on, but I like to have my car. I want my cars to have a bumper on them. So, we're gonna just gonna use. The drift wing here. 
It's a little bit bigger than the Extreme Downforce BW, BGW. So it should come in handy. Um, so we are going to keep the skirts on it. The rope we don't need to change. Uh, okay, here we go. To respray the car, we're going to go with the classic. Pretty much a classic gray, like. Actually, we're going to go with graphite. Or, not graphite. Uh, whatever this color is here. And then for the secondary color, we're actually going to be using a copper color. Ah, or bronze, actually. We're going to go with the bronze look. Normally, the bronze would be part of the rocker panels. And the rest of the car would be um, gray or whatever this color is. But, you know, it's whatever. Um, next up, you're going to add your custom plate to it. And then we're going to make sure we have the custom headlights. For the hood. So for the hood, you don't need to do anything to the grill we're actually going to go with the secondary grill shroud because in the film both the headlight covers and the grill shroud are that bronze color fenders This is getting hard. The fenders, you could do whatever. Um, you could do the wide angler rear fenders for $1,650, or you could just go with the stock fenders. The exhaust, I'm going to keep the same. Make sure the engine's upgraded. I'm going to keep my roll cage. And then the bumpers. We're actually going to be putting these bumpers on. Even though in the film, the splitters, or splitter with the canards are bronze, not carbon fiber, we are going to put them on. I'm actually going to do that with the rear bumper as well. You don't have to, but I'm going to do it anyways. Add your, make sure you have your street race brakes and your armor upgraded. And there you go. So the color scheme kind of looks the same. You know, we have the burgundy tires. The only difference is the bronze color you see should be bottom of the doors and the bumper front and back. Um, but I actually like this color scheme. It actually looks pretty cool. I'm actually happy with it. Um, so... I actually like this just because, you know, you never see a car scheme like this. I especially like the wheels. And I crashed. 10 seconds out of customizing and I crash it. That's nice. So, but this is definitely looking like Nightbird. Um, I haven't seen the film yet, but I, I plan to as soon as it comes out. Or if it's out already, I've lost track of it. So, in the meantime, I hope this helps you customize your car to look like one of the new Transformers. Um, don't, uh, don't forget to leave a comment below about what you think of the video. And don't forget to follow me on Twitch, Instagram, and Snapchat at MeetTheJosh19. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. 
And I hope you all have a good week. Or I had a good week. And I look forward to the long weekend we have. Have a good night. And I'll see you all next time.